sure. What's going on with the real estate market, Scott? Yeah, so <laughs> um, this it's insane over here. I mean, the, the single family home side, I'll touch on it real brief. And I'm going to actually talk about condos. Single family homes are up 15% um, in price for January. So that limited inventory I was talking about, and I said, hey, we're at one month of inventory, which is back to where our 2007 market I said, hey, I'm in, I anticipate us having 10 plus percent price appreciation this year. Well, first month, 15 percent we're up. So it's hitting what I expect to. And to give you a uh, perspective, um, property listed at 1.375, private deeded beach access, beautiful architecture. Um, we came in 75 grand over asking. They came back to us and said, you're you, you are tied with a, another offer. Repeat it. And we came in. We got it at 150 grand over asking. So. Um, oh, that, that kind of gets wait, you. Wait, 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 back up for it. Back up for a sec. This property listed for how much? One point three seven five. One point three seven five. So Dylan, you 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 got beat out. Scott, not not you, but you know Scott. Uh, beat, <laughs> Scott's offer had to beat your you you were fifty fifty k over a million, and Scott had to go to one fifty over a one point five property. There you go. Yeah. So th that's perspective on the single family home side. It's very busy. It's very competitive. What I'm telling buyers on the single family home side is not only be prepared, but be patient. Because the other thing that I'm seeing is. Hey, we may miss out on a home and then it's like two, three, four weeks before the next one comes up that that appeals to that's similar, that appeals to what you may like. The number of new listings coming on or the inventory coming on is slower than what I would expect in a busy market like this. So there is an element of patience, which means if you're a buyer also moving over here, you need to extend your time frame that you may anticipate for needing to look for homes. On the condo side, so now what I'm seeing is more movement in the condo side, um, and condo prices actually are up five percent for the for the month of January. So people are you're either outbid, out you know, out competed on, um, outpriced in the single family home side. They're starting to move to the the condo side. Townhouses are still really busy, but the condos are starting to move more. Anything under seven hundred fifty thousand is moving pretty quickly. Waikiki is the buy. And I feel like condos in general, high rises in Metro Honolulu, that's where your your good opportunities for not being outbid on stuff where you can get a good deal still. But it's definitely changing. It's starting to move in that direction for condos. So I hear you say that uh, the market's really hot, uh, and but yet Waikiki is kind of where you still could find a deal, where you still can get an offering, where you won't be competing, where you won't have to put over list and things of that nature. Is that right? That's correct. And and anything over a million in Waikiki or even Kaka'ako is significantly slower. You're going to have negotiation ability. Most other areas, you might have a little bit of uh, negotiation ability, but it's one to 2% off the list price, maybe. Got it. Got it. Thanks. Hey, great. Thanks. I appreciate that.